Hi, I am Dr. Maria. Welcome to my channel. I am very happy that you're here. I want to tell you that God loves you where you are right now. The love of God is eternal because God is love. Let's go to, in the Bible, let's go to 1 John 4.10. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. God is so merciful and so good to us. Sometimes we wonder, we know that God exists and that the Bible says He is love and that He forgives. But can He forgive me? You don't know what I've done. Maybe God doesn't forgive me. I want to tell you that yes, there is hope in God, in His Word. I would like to talk about three people in the Bible where God showed his mercy and forgiveness. The first one is David. David was the king of Israel, and he was a man after the heart of God. However, there was something in his life. There was a sin that was like a snowball effect that caused another sin and another sin. At the time when the kings went to war, he stayed in his palace and he saw a beautiful woman at the other side and he sent for her, sadly to say that he committed adultery. And this woman was the wife of one of his soldiers. Later on, he found out the woman was pregnant and he wanted to cover his sin. He sent for his soldier, Urias, and he wanted Urias to go to his house with his wife, Bathsheba. He had dinner with Uriah and sent him home. However, he didn't feel that it was right to go to his house when his fellow soldiers were in war. So he stayed and slept at the door at the palace. David realized his plan didn't work, so he had to come with another plan. This time, he tried to make Uriah to drink and get drunk, and then send him to his house. However, Uriah didn't go to his house either because that second plan did not work. He went to his third and last plan. He sent Uriah back to war with a letter to his commander saying to put him in the front of the field where it was dangerous. Uriah died. After that, David took her as his wife. The son they had died. Then they had a second son, which was Solomon. At that time, the prophet Nathan came to David and made him aware of his sin. When David realized what he had done, he asked God for forgiveness. And Nathan said to him that he had been forgiven. Let's go to 2 Samuel 12, 13. So David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said to David, The Lord also has put away your sin. You shall not die. We can see how God forgave David. And the same mercies we can expect to us. At that time, there was in the house of David, there were consequences that came upon, upon his household because of his sin. Now, we have a new covenant. We are living under the Jesus 
new covenant that he died for our sins and we have the free access to the father also through jesus but we ask the father to forgive us to say we we repent please god forgive us he will and he will forget that sin at the same time we need to forgive ourselves and forget the sin we will have memories however there should be no shame in it because god has forgiven us and cleansed us through his son jesus christ we have the hope that god's mercies are new and fresh every morning for us what happened yesterday is cleansed because we start a new day and we have the hope of his love the second person i would like to talk about is the samaritan woman at the well at that time jesus was with his disciples and the disciples had gone to town to get food jesus had planned it in a way that he could go and talk to the samaritan woman he was tired he went to the well and when she came to get water he asked her for water and he took the opportunity to tell her that if she drank from the water he offered she will never be thirsty again she was amazed because jews and samaritans at that time did not talk she wanted to be cleansed to be forgiven she noticed that jesus was different and she told him we are awaiting for the messiah for the christ and jesus revealed himself to her this is the first person that jesus reveal reveals himself this is so beautiful i love it and she got so excited that she went to town and told the people in the town that she had met the messiah they believed her and then jesus came to town and stayed for two days this woman was the first evangelist ever in the world and jesus knew her life She had had five husbands and the man which she lived with was not her husband because he asked her and she said the truth. So with this we can see there is hope in Jesus' love, in his name, in his sacrifice, that he is so awesome that when we ask him to come into our lives and forgive our sins, he does and he stays with us all the time. The third person I would like to talk about from the Bible is Rahab. Rahab was living in Jericho at the time the Israelites were going to take over the land under the command of Joshua. Joshua had sent two spies to check the land and they stayed at the house of Rahab. Rahab was a prostitute that lived in the wall the, at that time they, there were houses at the wall of the city and that's where she lived she had uh, parents brothers and sisters she hid them from the king that were looking for the spies and she asked them to take her and her family with her she knew in her heart that there was a god because the people in Jericho were fainted about the Israelites they knew what God had done for them that had dried the Red Sea and all the miracles and the conquests they had had around all the land over the other kings when Joshua came with his army to take over Jericho Rahab was spared the spies had asked her to identify her house with a scarlet cord outside her window They took her and her family, parents, brothers, and sisters. She stayed with the Israelites. Rahab is in the genealogy of Jesus. She became from being a sinner, being a prostitute. She repented. She had faith. She knew God existed and he was a merciful God. She embraced it. She ran with it. She was forgiven. She was given a new life. and she's in the genealogy of our Lord and Savior. It, I don't think it gets better than that. That is awesome. That shows the loves and mercies of God. And 
I think with these three people in the Bible, which are awesome people, and have their situations, their problems, their sin, just like us nowadays, and we can trust and be confident in the love of God that when we ask Him, He will come through. When we repent, He will forgive us. And the key is to forgive ourselves also, because God will remember no more. So why would we keep remembering the sin if God already forgave us? That's very important that we forgive ourselves. There will be memories of what happened. However, the pain will be gone when we accept the forgiveness from God and there will be a healing like no other. That's the promise that we have from God in His Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you don't know Jesus, oh, or you heard about Him and you would like Him to come into your life, it's simple. It's just a matter of saying, Jesus, I want you to come into my life. I repent. Please, come and live in me. And He will, and He will stay with you forever and ever. I love you, my friend, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.